What's going on YouTube, Gios right here, so in today's video I have great news for those of you who want to downgrade your devices with the Checkmate exploit in the future. A new version of Future Restore has been released a couple of days ago with support for 64-bit devices. Cops is in here, quote, Happy Christmas everyone. Future Restore version 179 with Checkmate support for all devices and the Accept Recovery option, some minor changes available, now at the original Teamstar repo. No problems with restoring on my test device. And of course he posted a link in here and we got the compiled version 179 which says this version of Future Restore adds support for Checkmate on 64-bit devices and that function in there. This one is currently working with macOS 10.12 and newer and would basically allow you to perform downgrades in some cases. However, Teamstar completed, quote, keep in mind that although Future Restore does support all Checkmate devices, in theory, you need to put your device in Pawn BFU mode first. For Checkmate, this means use exploit and afterwards disable SIG patches manually with something like this. Not all devices are supported. And he posts a link to Linus Hans's project in here, which contains something that is able to basically strip the signature verification from the bootroom and therefore enabling you to perform the downgrade. So this is actually very useful. You are now able to perform downgrades because this has Odysseus 64-bit support. But as Tim Star says in here, this is not actually all that it takes. You would still need to have a compatible SEP and baseband, so you can just go ahead and downgrade to iOS 10 or 11 and so on. And aside from the SEP and baseband compatibility being a problem, you still need to put your device in Pawn DFU mode, which is currently doable for some devices with Linus Hens's project in here, which does support stripping the signature for some of the devices, which are basically the iPhone 5S and iPad Pro 2017 and so on. But the rmsigchecks.py uh, script in here is still in the construction and it still needs much more work before we can use it for all the devices. However, it's good that Future Restore has finally been updated because we finally start to make use of this exploit for downgrades, which is actually quite good. For those of you who do not know what devices are supported, basically the iPhone 10, the iPhone 8 Plus, iPhone 8, 7, 7 Plus, 6, 5S and so on. So basically all the devices below iPhone 10. The iOS version is not exactly important because the exploit runs on any version, including the newest version available on those devices. However, the newest devices like the 8, 12 and 8, 13 devices, basically the iPhone XS, XS Max, XR, the iPhone 11 and 11 Pro are not supported by this future restoring here because they're not supported by Checkmate itself. So you wouldn't be able to downgrade with this in the future for those devices. However, if you do have a Mac and you do have one of the compatible devices, you can definitely try this in here. For example, if you have an iPhone 5S and you want to downgrade it to 10.3.3, you can definitely do that if you have OTA blob saved because it's compatible with this exploit, it's compatible with future restoring here and of course you will be able to do the exploit and downgrade to that version and that would be pretty good because that device would definitely work better on 10.x than on iOS 12 or 11 and so on. So yeah, you can downgrade at this point some of the devices but uh, you still need to be able to put the device in Pawn DFU mode and while the iPhone 5S is supported and the iPad Pro 2017 is supported for the moment, others are not. And they may be supported in the future, but the signature checks removal Python script has to be updated, which is not part of the exploit itself. So while this enables downgrades, it's still not supporting all of the devices and it's still going to be a long way before we can downgrade freely, but at least it's a good use for the exploit for the moment. So yeah, as I said, you can get the compiled version 179 from here, press the future restore for macOS, and you will be able to download it right away. So you will be able to run it on your 10.12 or newer macOS. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. I am Geosnow. Till the next time, subscribe to stay updated and peace out.